ice. If it isn't sand, it's ice.
Dashing through the snow with rockets and grenades. Time to blow some holes in an alien's face.
Now I actually screamed really loudly. God damn it, the whole game is it's the worst CRSAM game. Although I don't like CRSAM 4 at all. It's not even fun. It's still a better game than this game. This game literally is arena after an arena after an arena after an arena. By the way, no ammunition gets saved. Which means you get reset to the previous point where the developer specified a certain amount of health and ammo. I'm not sure about weapon selection and how much ammo you have mid-map, but if you restart the map or load into a map, you don't get the ammo from the previous map you have collected, you lose everything and you need to start from scratch. Then also, it's too big, but at the same time the scale is so small that you see nothing. Scale means how big a map is compared to an item. If you have a coffee cup, the question is how many pixels or triangles does the mug have compared to the map's total. So it could be the biggest coffee cup, but also the smallest level, or the smallest coffee cup, but also the biggest map. And here, the whole game is like, on hard difficulty, I wouldn't even get through that shit anymore. Impossible. On medium, you get stuffed of health, explosion damage isn't properly working because it's not the crow engine but a custom made random engine from the developers who got probably defunct or something after this game or maybe a few games later or got bought out by another company. And explosion damage can cancel explosion damage, at least for the cannon. Then also the rocket launcher does project damage towards you. For some reason. Then of course the flying monsters with the fire damage are one hit kill. When you get hit on one difficulty up. And even now it's hard. So you constantly get staffed. You have no breathing room with a controller to move from A to B. And lastly G-Man lives is an idiot. He says the game is good. No. He played it in an emulator. If you play in an emulator 
Everything you just said in a review is invalid because you played it on a higher resolution with mouse and keyboard mod instead of a controller. And secondly, the game isn't still good. It isn't good. Seriously, I'm first encounter, second encounter, goat. It will always be the best. Period. HD changed it so it's more like scalable for multiplayer game. I'm not sure if you can save mid game, same as the first encounter and second encounter of the originals. Of course, mods for both games or series, although the freaking uh, fusion game is bad. They literally sold it on consoles and it's still unfinished. They had enemy values from Series M3 in all Series M games. Because it's the same engine and they couldn't apply patches or modes or mutators, how it would be called in Unreal Engine, for each specific game. So werewolves turned around without delay. They literally jumped you without uh, them turning. So what I mean is this game is freaking bad. The maps get better, the ideas are good, it has no cohesion, all the maps are so dislocated yeah that's actually a good metho metaphor dislocated body weapons don't make sense because they don't have hierarchy but the double barrel shotgun on one or two of the enemies was actually better so I'm not 100% sure if they have hierarchy where certain weapons don't do as much damage as others depending on the enemy you shoot but the game in general is so poor and then the delay of course on the capture I'm playing on a CRT, that's why the audio is a little off, because I still need a RCA mail to RCA mail adapter to put it through my capture card and not through the line in of my PC, as I did the years before the retro tink, when I only played on a CRT. But with TLDRs, the game is unbalanced. Weapons don't make sense in this game. It's just a different colored Mortar pistol, mortar gun. It's so bad. Yeah. Boring rant. The game is fun. It is so much more fun on a CRT because it actually blinds you a little. CRTs just can do with 100 nets what no other tech can do. Unless it's like maybe plasma. And plasma has the issue that blacks don't work on plasma. Because the voltage is too low to switch on and off properly for the brightness. So grays appear or blacks get like properly scaled. So you have like maybe three types of blacks, multiple scales of gray and nothing else. Yeah, let's continue. I think I have some energy back. And also all the spawn points. You don't get fooled or like made fun of like in Series M1. And oh, yeah, in general Series M1, Series M2 on the event, which is the Xbox game and PC. You kind of get fooled, but not much by going back. So Sam Free probably never, but this game, if it fools you, it's just a bad spawn because they spawn too near towards you. It's too close. They spawn directly in your face, but I haven't been blown up by Kamikaze yet, except once, but that was my own fault. Whereas Zero Sam HD, I think even has some issues. Original Series M1 doesn't have issues. Series M3 and 4 arenas can be messed up. 4 especially. 4 is unplayable. Series M4 is awful. Everyone who said, oh my god, my game is good, never played any Series M game before. Because in that game, you have to stand in the middle where the game spawned the loot and that's the arena point. You are not allowed to leave it. Because if you leave it, at the edge of the map, kamikaze spawn. Inside you with no trigger. And boom.
So this is another issue, which happened already in the previous or two missions ago, I mean levels ago. You have like a T-junction and you only go one path. This is the same. Three paths, one is used. Why such missed opportunity? Why? <laughs> 